In this video lecture, we're going to learn how to write formula units, but this time involving polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions were the hydroxides, nitrates, sulfates, carbonates, etc. that we studied earlier. And I told you to remember the name and the formula of these polyatomic ions. They're molecules that either gain or lose electrons and therefore have a net positive or negative charge. So the first uh, uh, ionic compound that we're going to write the formula unit for is calcium nitrate. And uh, calcium is in group 2. So group 2, remember group 2 has a charge of 2+. Plus. And nitrate was NO3. And the charge was 1-. minus. Now remember nitrate is always going to be NO3. You can't make it into, you, uh, when you're writing the formula, don't convert this into NO2 or NO6 or NO9. It has to remain NO3. Uh, so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to use the crisscross method. Uh, get this one over here and this two over here. What this would do is that they're, they're going to be there's going to be one calcium. And generally, you don't write one, but I'm just to uh, to show you, I'm writing one, and they they're going to be NO3, and there would be two nitrates. So look carefully what I have done. I, I did not change. Remember NO3 ion is one whole entity. It's one, it's one uh, polyatomic ion. So you can't change the formula. So since calcium was 2 plus, they're going to be two NO3 ions. This means that they're going to be two NO3 ions. So to expressly show what I've done is there's, there's one calcium, 2 plus. And in this compound, the ratio of the nitrate ions to calcium ions, it's one ratio two. They're going to be two nitrate ions because calcium is losing two electrons nitrate is one minus it's only gaining one electron so if there are two nitrate ions they would in total gain two electrons so the ratio of calcium ions to nitrate ion is going to be one ratio two so this over here is the formula of this uh, formula unit of this uh, ionic compound calcium nitrate Let's do another example. This time, uh, the formula unit that I uh, that I want is aluminium sulfate, and I'm going to start off uh, aluminium. It's in group three, and group three have a charge of three plus. Sulfate, if you remember, is SO four, and the charge is two minus. And again, uh, remember SO four is one complete polyatomic ion. You can't make, you can't convert. You can't change the formula. You can't make it into S two O eight or S O eight, etc. So you can't you can't change this uh, entity over here. So this is one polyatomic ion. So we're going to use the crisscross method to figure out what the ratio is going to be. Uh, bring this two over here, and this three goes over there. So the formula for aluminium sulfate is going to be they're going to be two aluminiums, and they're going they're going to be three sulfate ions so put a bracket around sulfate to show that this entire thing there are three sulfate ions in this compound and again to explain this properly i'm going to i'm going to draw what the formula means is that the ratio of aluminium ions to sulfate ions for every two aluminium ions there are going to be three sulfate ions in the ionic lattice And the reason why the, the ratio is 2 ratio 3 is because aluminium is losing 3 electrons. 2 aluminiums would lose a total of 6 electrons. Sulfate is only gaining 2 electrons. 3 sulfates would end up gaining 6 electrons. So, so the ratio of aluminium to sulfate ions in this ionic lattice, it's going to be 2 ratio 3. And this over here would be the formula of this particular ionic compound. Let's do this third example now, which is sodium phosphate. So sodium is Na and it's in group 1, so the charge is 1 plus. Phosphate is PO4 and the charge is 3 minus. And again, you're going to use the crisscross method. Uh, get this 3 over here and this 1 over here. So the formula of sodium phosphate is going to be, they're going to be, there's going to be 3 sodium ions. And there's going to be one phosphate ion. Now, uh, the ratio is 3 ratio 1. You don't generally write uh, this one over here, uh, this one. It's very obvious if you don't write one, that basically means that there is one. So instead, uh, this 
the formula is written like, like this. It's uh, in a 3 P of 4. So no 1 is written. That's very obvious. Uh, but if you even write 1, then that would not be incorrect. Now remember, uh, the ratio, not 3 ratio 4. Uh, always remember there is an invisible 1. There is 1 phosphate ion and there are 3 sodium ions. So the ratio is actually 3 ratio 1. Our fourth example is aluminium nitrate. So quickly do this. Uh, aluminium is in group 3. So it has a charge of 3 plus. Nitrate is NO3 and the charge is 1 minus. And we'll quickly use the crisscross method. Get this 1 over here and bring this 3 over there. So the formula is going to be, they're going to be, there's going to be 1 aluminium and they're going to be 3 nitrate. So put a bracket around that and use 3. So the ratio is 1, ratio 3 and it cannot be simplified further. So this is the formula unit for aluminium nitrate. We will now do uh, a poly, uh, a formula unit involving a transition metal. So for a transition metal, the charge would be given in the formula. So tin 4 means that the charge is 4 plus. So tin is Sn and it has a charge of 4 plus and sulfate is SO4 2 minus. So the ionic lattice would have these two ions and use the crisscross method. Get this 2 over here and bring this 4 over here. So if you use a crisscross method, uh, the ratio that you're going to get for the two ions is going to be, they're going to be two tin ions and they're going to be four sulfate ions. So they're going to be four sulfate ions. Now if you look at the ratio, the ratio could be further simplified. Two ratio four means that it could be further simplified into one ratio two. So the simplified ratio of the, uh, to make the formula unit would be, there's going to be one SN, don't write the one, and they're going to be two sulfates, put a bracket around sulfate and they're going to be two sulfates. So this over here is going to be your formula unit for tin 4 sulfate. The last example is of ammonium phosphate. So quickly ammonium is, both of them are polyatomic ions. So ammonium is NH4 and the charge is 1 plus whereas phosphate is PO4 and the charge is 3 negative. So we're going to figure out what the what the uh, formula unit would be and the ratio would be. Uh, use the crisscross met method to figure out the ratio. Get this three over here and the one over here. So there's going to be they're going to be one. They're going to be three ammonium ions, and there's going to be just one phosphate ion. So you don't need to put this bracket over here. So you can uh, remove that later. So it's three ratio one. So the Ratio is the simplest ratio, so there's no need for this bracket, no need for writing one. So the formula is going to be just ammonium phosphate.